Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, we're fortunate here in the greater Baton Rouge area to live in a very vibrant art community. And there's lots going on and we have plenty of it to tell you about today. It's coming from the Arts Council of Greater Baton Rouge. And here to give us the scoop on what they have coming up is Jessica Ottaviano. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Obviously, this is one of my favorite segments I do on this show because there's always so many interesting events going on. Great music, mm -hmm. great culture. What's new with the Arts Council? Uh, well, in January, we continue our River City Jazz Master Series. We're going to feature Carmen Lundy on January 15th, which is actually a Friday night. Normally our concerts are during the week, so we're very excited um, about that Friday night concert, 7.30 p.m. at Manship Theater. That'll be the third concert in our uh, River City Jazz Master Series. Um, and then actually later that weekend, something I'm very excited about is what we're calling our Kings and Queens Jazz Brunch. Wow. Um, for those who are familiar with the Arts Council and our traditional events, um, we have historically held our Laurel Street Palooza, which is a street party fundraiser on Laurel Street, which is where our building is. And this year, um, we decided to sort of take a step back um, and celebrate all of the past supporters of that event. Wow. Um, and again, those who are familiar will know that we name a king and queen of Palooza each year. And last year was actually the 15th anniversary of Palooza. So we have 15 years worth of kings and queens that we're very excited to celebrate. Awesome. And we'll do that at the City Club of Baton Rouge on Sunday, January 17th. Uh, we're gonna have a jazz brunch with live music, cocktails, uh, brunch. Um, and a silent auction. Um, so we're very excited, and tickets are still open to the public. Uh, they're $50, um, just as our Laurel Street Palooza was. So sort of a different feel, but we're very excited to have this commemorative um, celebratory event this well, year. Well, Baton Rouge is a town that loves a good party, and, and the Laurel Street Palooza is definitely one of them. Uh, if, if someone's never attended that before, give them an idea of kind of what they can expect. Sure. Well, historically, Laurel Street Palooza, again, has been a street party on Laurel Street um, in the Arts Council's building as well as in the Chase building right across the street um, down in downtown Baton Rouge. Um, and that event has had live music, food, drinks, um, you know, it's just, it's a street party. There's dancing. Um, so we're trying to take that event and that same energy, but put it into a brunch at the City Club. Um, and again, it's open to the public as the other um, traditional event has been. Um, and we'll have food that's influenced on sort of a street uh, party vibe. Um, but again, just indoors. <laughs> I know you mentioned the River City Jazz Masters earlier. I know mm -hmm. that's one of my favorite things that the Arts Council does mm -hmm. because you really get a chance to see some world-class entertainment. Yes. And if no one has ever seen that before, they definitely need to go check that out. Absolutely. It's a treasure to have this series in Baton Rouge. Um, you know, when people travel, when our staff travels outside of Baton Rouge, there are people outside of our community that know Baton Rouge based on the River City Jazz Masters right. series, which is really incredible for our city. Just a few seconds left. Give us the scoop on Scene Rouge. Sure. Scene Rouge is another program I'm very excited about. It's our new networking circle for young professionals in Baton Rouge. Basically, for a nominal fee each year, uh, people can become members of the Arts Council, and that gives them access to discounted tickets for performing arts events throughout the city each year. Um, and there's a social component with it, so young professionals can come, be patrons of the arts, get that discount, but also meet like-minded people in the community. Lots of great stuff going on. Thanks so much for coming on and telling yes. us all about it. Thank you for having me. When we come back on Across Louisiana, find out the latest on the Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital and more. Don't miss it.